There once lived a huge hungry lion in a vast jungle. All the animals were afraid of him because he would kill many of them every day for food. They had to find a way to stop him from killing all of them. After discussing among themselves, they went to the lion. Uh, uh, we have come to ask you to hear us. You are our king and every king needs subjects. If you eat us all, then you will not have any subjects left. We will send you an animal every day to your cave. This way, you will get food without hunting for it. The lion agreed to the plan. He threatened to kill all of them if they ever failed to provide him food. And from that day onwards, one animal was sent to the lion's cave every day. This plan seemed to work until it was the turn of the rabbits. A small, clever rabbit, when asked to go to the lion, wanted to save himself and the other animals. He made a plan. He went to the lion, and on seeing him, the lion got angry. You are too small for my meal. I am going to teach the animals a lesson for cheating me. I shall kill them all. Oh, great king, you must not blame us. There are six rabbits sent for your meal, but another lion ate the other five up. A lion? Who is he? Where does he live? He was a big lion, and he wanted to eat me too. But I told him that you would eat him up for spoiling your meal. He told the lion that the other lion became furious and he insisted that he was the bravest lion in the forest and that he was the only king in the jungle. He boasted that he would show this lion who the real king was. On hearing this, the lion was enraged. His roar shook the jungle. Take me to this fool! I shall have no peace! until I kill him. Yes, Master. You must show that other lion who the real king is. He led the big lion into the jungle. He took him to a deep well and pointed down the well, saying that the other lion lived down there. The lion looked into the well and saw his own reflection in the well. He thought it was the other lion. The lion got even more enraged and jumped into the well to attack the other lion. He hit the water in the well with a loud splash and drowned. The clever little rabbit returned home and retold his adventure. All the other animals in the jungle were happy that their greatest enemy was dead. You have been very clever, my little friend. Yes, and you have brought courage back into the jungle. Once upon a time, there lived a crane by the side of a tank full of fish. He ate the fish in the tank and lived a happy life. As years passed by, the crane grew old and weak, and he found it difficult to catch all the fish he wanted for his food. He was afraid that he would soon die of starvation. Then the crane thought of a plan. He stood sadly by the tank and did not try to catch even the fish that swam close by him. The fish, frogs and crabs in the tank noticed how unhappy he was. 
Why do you look so sad, uncle? Yes, why are you not catching fish as usual? I have got terrible news. The people are going to fill up the tank with mud and grow plants in it. And there would not be any fish for me to eat anymore. You are our friend and only you can save us. Can you please take us to the other tank? I am too old and will need to make many trips. I would also need rest between trips. The fish agreed with a sigh of relief. The crane started making the trips. He took a few fish first and instead of taking them to the other tank, he took them to a rock. He ate them, leaving their bones on the rock. He rested until he felt hungry again and went back to the tank to take a few more fish. He then proceeded to eat them. He kept visiting the tank as often as he was hungry. Now, among the fish still left in the tank, there was a big crab. He too went to the crane for help. Uncle, uncle, save me also from death. Ah. I would like to try crab meat for a change. Of course, my young friend. Come, I shall take you to the big tank. As the crane spread his wings and flew with the crab, the crab looked down, but he could not see the bigger, deeper tank. He could not see water anywhere. Uncle? Where is the big tank to which you are taking me? <laughs> I am going to eat you up, just like I have eaten up all the other fish. The frightened crab looked down and he could see heaps of fish bones on a rock. He dug his sharp claws into the crane's neck. He dug them so deep that soon the crane was dead. The crab went back to his own tank and told the other fish what had happened. Thank you! You have saved us from that evil crane! And from that day, they lived happily ever after. In a river, one of his feet got stuck in the damp, mushy mud of the river. He tried a lot to get out of the mud, but his efforts were in vain.